Hey everyone, it's Mallory here with All About Cats, and in this week's video we're taking a look at the best cat scratch deterrents. So, every cat has to scratch, essentially. Uh, this is a natural cat behavior that serves a number of important purposes, and ideally your cat's going to be scratching on a scratching post. But what often happens is that a cat is going to use something else in the house instead. And so uh, frequently that ends up being something like your sofa or something else that is kind of saturated in your scent. Cats really seem to like these things. Um, they'll also scratch carpet, wood. If you have an issue with scratching, you're probably thinking of some particular location where your cat has just been digging in their claws. So instead of getting your cat declawed, which we've uh, established in some other videos is um, very not nice to your cat. So basically you're cutting off the first digits of all of your cat's little fingers and it can lead to a host of problems down the road. So that's a no-go. Instead of doing that, the uh, ideal route is to redirect that cat's behavior. So you're deterring them from doing the scratching and then you're redirecting them into some new direction, ideally a good scratching post. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the deterrent part of this equation. So the products you can buy in order to get your cat to stop using whatever they've been using. I wasn't able to really try them with my cats, um, but I did a number of little tests kind of on myself and I talked with um, a number of people to try to get a sense for which types of products and which products in particular work the best. So my first recommendation, uh, which is the best for upholstery or furniture that needs to be protected, is Cat Supreme's uh, double-sided scratch deterrent tape. So Cat Supreme is a company that I've been working closely with um, for quite some time. After trying these products and talking with numerous behaviorists and vets about how it performs, I feel good about recommending it as um, my overall top recommendation. Um, especially for people who want to protect some sort of um, fabric upholstery. The reason why it works so well is because it has this very sticky surface. It just doesn't feel very good under your cat's paws. It's not harmful. It's not going to scare your cat. It's not going to hurt your cat, but it is going to make the surface unappealing to them. So when you put this over your sofa, arm, or even on your carpet, your cat's going to come into contact with it and then instantly it's just no longer of interest to them. So by putting a nice alternative scratcher in that area, you're able to get your cat to go, okay, this doesn't feel good anymore. I'll use something else. One thing that is nice about getting these double-sided uh, tape sheets rather than a roll of tape uh, is that it just covers so much more space at once. So you can trim it and cut it to size, uh, but if you want to use a whole sheet at once, you can easily cover a lot of ground, so to speak. So it makes a nice alternative to just regular double-sided tape. Now, this product does have a couple of big drawbacks. Um, one is that you can't use it on any kind of leather or faux leather surfaces. It'll just rip off uh, the outer layer and cause some damage. So you only want to use it on approved surfaces. And then the second issue with it is that because it is so sticky, it tends to accumulate hair, any dirt um, that's that comes into contact with it so it tends to look a little bit dirty over time but overall um, as part of a nice deterring and redirecting system I think that this product could work really well so a 10 pack of extra large sheets costs $17.99 on Amazon if you want to avoid that issue of the tape getting kind of dirty, I would recommend Cat Supreme's single-sided uh, tape scratch deterrent with pins. So instead of having that sticky exterior, it just has a smooth plastic surface, which as I mentioned earlier, is also going to deter your cat from scratching. And then you'll attach it with upholstery pins on each corner. And because you can cut it to size and adjust everything, it works well with a variety of surfaces um, and shapes of furniture. Uh, although you still can't use it with a leather or faux leather. So this tape is a little bit more expensive than the double-sided tape I recommended a second ago. Uh, so a 10 pack of extra large sheets is going to cost $18.99 on Amazon. Now again, uh, I'm working directly with this brand, so they were able to create a special promotion for All About Cats viewers. And if you would like to get a 30% discount on your order, make sure to click the link in the description. Um, this is a limited time only offer, so if you have an issue with your cat scratching uh, the couch or something like that, 
um, it would be a good time to take advantage of that. My next recommendation is going to be my favorite uh, kind of scary deterrent, and that is the PetSafe Scat Spray. Um, so I tried out a uh, few different things kind of similar to this. One was just a deterrent spray, uh, but that featured eucalyptus oil, and that doesn't make any sense for cats. This is toxic to cats. Another product I tried was an electric mat <laughs> that shocks your cat, and I didn't use it on my cats, but I used it on myself, and it was pretty scary. I don't know how um, you feel about that, but I don't really feel comfortable recommending something that shocks your cat every time they go to scratch. So instead, I'm recommending this spray. So it's basically a motion-activated can of compressed air, and it is quite startling. So when your cat goes in front of this can, it's going to shoot out a blast of this compressed air and it'll startle your cat and they'll eventually become conditioned to kind of uh, not go into that place. And so this can uh, deter your cat from using that area uh, and it can encourage your cat to seek out a new place to scratch. This really isn't my preferred method for deterring and redirecting this behavior. Startling your cat can just make their life feel just a little bit less stable. So I feel that a more passive deterrent that allows your cat to just go, oh, this feels different, um, and make that decision more or less on their own is a lot friendlier to the cat. A single can of this spray costs $49.99, which is incredible, very, very expensive. Um, but some people will think it's worthwhile. Now my recommendation for the best spray deterrent is a little bit different from what you might imagine, and it is going to be Comfort Zone's uh, Scratch Deterrent Pheromone Spray. And the reason I'm recommending this rather than like a bitter apple or citrus spray is simply because those don't really seem to work. Instead, you can use a pheromone spray, which is going to simulate the um, scent markers that your cat is intentionally putting onto that surface they've been scratching. And so this can kind of trick your cat into thinking that uh, they've marked that area and if you suspect that the scratching could be related to some stress, it can also help with that. And so I've seen good customer reviews saying that this product really does help. Um, Still, I would recommend combining it with a physical deterrent um, because cats are also going to scratch out of habit. There's a visual marker involved in there as well. A synthetic pheromone spray on its own is not going to work quite as well. And then of course, you're always going to combine it with something else for your cat to use. As Jackson Galaxy always says, you have to give a yes for every no. A single bottle of this synthetic pheromone spray costs $29.99. I know, it's expensive, um, but this product does seem to work pretty well, at least anecdotally. Uh, I know a lot of veterinarians, behaviorists, people the world over swear by this product. And finally, I want to recommend a scratch mat that you can use to cover up the area where your cat's been scratching. And in this case, I'm just going to recommend the Fukumaru uh, scratch mat. It's a pretty generic scratch mat. You can find many others similar to it on Amazon. And it's just a sizal pad that you're able to attach with Velcro to whatever surface your cat's been scratching. Now, you're supposed to be able to use this mat either on vertical or horizontal surfaces with the help of this, the Velcro pads on the back, but I find the adhesive is pretty bad. So realistically, it works best kind of on the floor. Um, and alternatively, you could just use a regular scratching mat um, or a scratching um, pad. You'll see some recommendations for these in our video on the best cat scratchers, so that might be a good place to go next. And so in this case, you're not really changing the location where your cat's scratching, you're just covering it up and letting your cat do what they wanted to do. Now I found that my cat, Wessie, really, really liked this mat. As soon as we put it out, he was instantly drawn to it and loved lying on it. And this is echoed in the customer reviews I've seen. So uh, cats really do seem to like this mat, uh, whether they're scratching on it or doing other things on it. Um, and so it can be helpful if you're not so set on actually stopping your cat from scratching that area, but just saying, fine, you wanna scratch this, you can scratch it, I'm just going to put something more appropriate over it. And in all likelihood, it'll be a more satisfying experience for your cat as well. So this is actually the cheapest option on this list at $16.79.
Um, so that's about it for my scratch deterrent recommendations. You can probably see kind of what the theme is here. Um, you're just looking for something that's going to make that surface less appealing to your cat and then go from there. Again, you always want to provide an outlet for your cat to use when scratching. You never want to take that entirely away because your cat will find another spot to scratch. Trimming your cat's claws can also help a little bit to reduce the amount of damage they can do when they scratch. Um, but the most important thing is to provide a good scratching post that your cat likes. If you're struggling to get your cat to stop scratching some particular area, I would take notes on what they're scratching. If they're scratching a horizontal surface and you have a vertical scratcher out and they're not using it, chances are they prefer that horizontal scratching surface and that's why they're not using it. So it can help to put out a variety of scratching post types uh, in order to find out what your cat prefers. And of course, model the thing your cat's scratching already when you choose uh, an alternative surface. You never want to create negative associations around the new scratching post. You always want everything to be really positive. So giving your cat rewards and just positive reinforcement when they actually use it um, can be very helpful. Overall, I would aim for a very positive experience with minimal yelling at your cat, scaring your cat, doing anything that really stresses them out or of course confuses them. So I hope you found this video helpful. Again, you can check out the links in the description to find all of the products mentioned here, uh, including that discount on the Cat Supreme Scratch Deterrent Tape. And uh, other than that, that's about it for this video. So I hope that you found it helpful. Please go ahead and leave your tips for getting cats to stop doing that unwanted scratching in the comments. And I will see you next week. See ya, bye.